a naturally aspirated, direct injected, 6.2 liter aluminum V8 engine, the GM 6.2 liters Ecotec 3, also known as L86 and L87, powers pickup trucks and SUVs such as the Chevrolet Silverado, GMC Sierra, Cadillac Escalade, and GMC Yukon Denali. Let's examine these engine specifics, typical issues, and dependability in more detail. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Overview The L86 model, which made its debut in 2014, took the place of the L92 6.2 liter Vortec truck engine, which was the previous model. The successor to the L86, the L87 version, came out in 2019. While the latest L87 variant employs dynamic fuel management in place of the L86's active fuel management, both engines are essentially the same. A 90-degree aluminum cylinder block with cast and iron cylinder liners is a feature of the L86 and L87 engine. The rotating assembly consists of cast aluminum dome pistons that are optimized for direct injection, an I-beam powder metal connecting rod, and a forged steel crankshaft. These engines feature a single camshaft located inside the block and are pushrod OHV engines. Two valves per cylinder, a total of 16 valves, are housed in aluminum cylinder heads and are operated by low-friction roller pivot rocker arms and pushrods. Because of the hydraulic roller lifters in the valve train, valve clearance adjustments are not necessary. The L86 and L87 modifies the timing of the intake and exhaust valves using a dual equal camshaft phasing system. Common problems. Lifters collapse and bent pushrods. Lifters and pushrods may bend as a result of the active fuel management system, which deactivates cylinders under light load. Engine misfires and decreased power could result from this problem. The engine will frequently make ticking or tapping noises when its lifters collapse. It is possible for these sounds to be audible during cold starts. Inadequate valve operation may result in low acceleration, misfires, or diminished power. A check engine light may come on if the lifters are severely collapsed, according to the engine control module. It is best to replace the lifters if the collapse is the cause of the issue. Repairing a lifter physically is usually not worth the trouble. The cost is determined by labor rates and the particular vehicle. Pay for labor hours and new lifters is to be expected. Engine performance may be impacted by cylinder misfires brought on by bent pushrods. This problem throws off the timing of the valve, which results in poor combustion. You might hear knocking or tapping if this problem arises. Bent pushrods need to be changed. Finding and fixing the underlying cause, such as worn camshaft lobes or problems with the valve train, is crucial. You should budget between $400 to $560 on average for the fixing bent pushrods problem. Carbon buildup on intake valves. Numerous direct injection engines are impacted by this problem, including the L86 and L87. Over time, carbon buildup on the intake valves may have an effect on performance and fuel economy. The accumulation of carbon on intake valves can cause a few symptoms. Rough idling may result from carbon deposits obstructing the proper operation of the valve. Furthermore, accumulated carbon influences airflow, which in turn affects engine performance. Other reasons why the check engine light might come on are misfires or issues with emissions. Thankfully, there are solutions available to address this problem, including preventive maintenance and intake valve cleaning. Labor-intensive cleaning prices differ depending on the shop and the location. A skilled mechanic should budget between $400 and $560 for valve cleaning and associated work. Spark plug replacement and routine oil changes are examples of preventive maintenance. Broken exhaust manifold bolts. This can be a very annoying problem with the 6.2 liters Ecotec 3 L86 and L87 engines from GM. There are a few signs of damaged bolts on the exhaust manifold. First of all, exhaust leak. This issue is the result of broken bolts. It may sound like a hissing or ticking sound close to the exhaust manifold. The second sign of broken bolts is diminished performance. And if the leak is serious, the cabin may smell like exhaust. Bolt extraction kits, which are specialized kits for extracting broken bolts, are one option for resolving this problem. The instruments needed to extract the broken bolt are included in these kits. Another option is helicoil inserts. To create new threads for replacement bolts in cases where the threads are damaged, mechanics can install helicoil inserts. The average cost to fix damaged exhaust manifold bolts is between $200 and $500. The older 6.2 liters L86 engine's reliability score was severely impacted by stuck lifters and bent pushrods. This is made even more agonizing by the fact that nearly new, low-mileage trucks are typically the ones with this issue. Even though the warranty might cover every repair, the possibility of a future problem erodes your trust in your car. We hope that the most recent 6.2 liters L87 version, which has the dynamic fuel management system, is less likely to experience lifter failures and think it is a better option. Reliability. Even though the L86 and L87 engines are incredibly powerful and efficient, they are not without problems. 
Their dependability can be preserved with routine maintenance, which includes fixing AFM-related problems and cleaning carbon. These engines are robust in general, but it's important to be aware of potential issues and take quick action when they arise. Remember that the longevity and dependability of your GM 6.2 liters Ecotec 3 engine can be considerably increased by performing routine maintenance and promptly resolving any problems.